Hello everybody. I had a request to read and review this book and the request came from Dominic Toretto and I am really glad that he suggested this book because I really did enjoy this book and it had not come across um, any suggestions for me before so thank you Dominic very much for suggesting this book. I did really enjoy it, so let's go ahead and um, begin the review. This book is The Witch's Broom, The Craft, Lore, and Magic of Broomsticks by Deborah Blake. I'm just going to go ahead and flip it over here on the back. We'll zoom in a little bit. I'm not going to read this portion, so you can pause it and read it if you like. Okay, so let's go ahead and open it up here. I want to take a moment to appreciate the illustrations in this book. I think they are really good. I really enjoyed the illustrations. Let me move around the page here. really cute and there's um, not a ton of illustrations in the book but there are quite a few and they're all I mean rendered really beautifully as far as I'm concerned but we'll get to that in a little bit so um, let's see I did want to go ahead and read this page that shares a little bit about the author. I had not, as I said, um, come across her books before, but I thought this was really well written, and so I wanted to share some about her. Okay, so it says, Deborah Blake has published numerous articles in pagan publications, including Llewellyn Annuals, and has an ongoing column in Witches and Pagans magazine. Her award-winning short story, Dead and Mostly Gone, is included in the Pagan Anthology of Short Fiction, 13 prize-winning tales. That was published by Llewellyn in 2008. This is her seventh book published by Llewellyn. She has been interviewed on television, radio, and podcast, and can be found online on Facebook, Twitter, and um, there's her website right there. When not writing, Deborah runs the Artisans Guild, a cooperative shop she founded with a friend in 1999, and also works as a jewelry maker. She lives in a 120-year-old farmhouse in rural upstate New York with five cats who supervise all of her activities, both magical and mundane. So I liked her little um, bio here, her little bio page. All right, so um, I'm not going to read anything from within the book because, um, you know, I think that you really should uh, consider reading it for yourself. But what I do want to do is go over the different chapters that are in this book so that you can um, get a good idea about uh, what you'll be reading in here. Okay, so start with the introduction, and then chapter one is Brooms in History, Tradition, and Lore. Chapter two is The Witch's Broom in Popular Culture. Chapter three is Broom Basics. Chapter 4, A Broom of Your Own, where she goes over how to make your own broom. Chapter 5, Fast and Easy Spells, Charms, Crafts, and More. Chapter 6, Specialty Brooms. Chapter 7, Brooms for Special Occasions. Oh, and see where it says Real Witches, Real Brooms? Each chapter has a contribution from um, an individual that 
um, share something that they do within their own practice. So those are really um, interesting to read as well. I really like that she included those. Uh, chapter 8, Brooms and Ritual Use. And then chapter 9, For the Young Witch. And then here we have um, the conclusion. So it's just around 280 pages. It's not a large book. And um, while I did start reading it straight through, once I got to, oh, about a quarter of the way or a third of the way in, I started skipping around because it's not designed like um, necessarily a fiction book or an instructional book that you have to read from cover to cover, as you could see by looking at the contents. So um, once I got it through the introduction, I read the first few chapters straight through, and then I went back and um, found certain things I wanted to read more on. And then I would flip back and maybe read back another whole chapter. So I found that I liked this book that way. I didn't feel that um, it was something that you necessarily need to sit and read straight through. Uh, not all things in the book are going to apply to all people. But I do believe there is something for everybody in this book. So uh, I really do think it's a good book. There's not uh, much else I could say unless I was to share things she's written in the book, which I don't want to do. I'm going to share just a few more of the illustrations and then um, I'll wrap this up. Okay, so here you can see they give illustrations on how to make your own broom. She talks about the differences between a besom and a broom. She talks about the different materials you can use. Here's another nice illustration. And uh, here's another one I love because uh, I think this is supposed to be the Holly King, but you know, he's a form of the Green Man, which is one of my favorites. This is an idea for a winter broom. When I was looking at these, I realized I used to make brooms, like decorative brooms, all the time in my um, early 20s. I, I worked for a florist for a short period of time. Uh, with fresh flowers and then I also uh, did some silk arrangements and that's when I did a bunch of brooms. Anyway, it just made me think of that. I had kind of forgotten about it. But um, what else can I share? You know, she does also talk about, there was something that I really loved in here. Um, she talked about astral travel in here and um, she gives a, a like a, a meditation that you can use to help with astral projection. Now, I didn't agree with everything. I don't, um, I, can't, I, I can't say I disagree, but it wouldn't be my personal choice what she recommends as far as herbs and oils for astral travel. But as far as the um, other guidance she gives on that topic, I thought it was really good. I also loved what she had to say about love spells in here, which um, I'm about to do a video on that. And so, I mean, overall, I mean, I definitely would give this, you know, five out of five stars if that was the rating system. E even though I, like I said, I didn't, her choice for like astral projection herbs or oils wouldn't be my choice, but definitely definitely still think um, this book is worth picking up and reading she has a lot of great stuff in here I got this on Amazon I guess it was around sixteen dollars I don't really uh, recall but fifteen sixteen dollars I think new on Amazon I'm sure you might be able to find some previously loved copies that you could get for uh, you know a lower price as well but um, yeah, I am so glad that I have this. Thank you again, Dominic, for recommending this book. I really enjoyed it. And um, I hope this finds everybody doing really well. And I will be seeing you soon.
Bye.